Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a test it out Thursday on this Color Me Flawless in a Finish Automatic Foundation Applicator and this is the Pro Edition. It says it's an all-in-one sonic applicator for 8 hours superior coverage. So this is what the front of the box looks like and then you open it up and it has this and it usually has the product right here but I went ahead and took it out. It says it's a beauty blender, a little brush, your hands all in one product. Basically it's supposed to give you really flawless coverage and even on the back it has this example of fine foundation and the flawless foundation which I mean but I wanted to try this out because I remember when I first started Test It Out Thursdays, I asked you guys for requests, and this was one of the most requested items, and I was like, what is that? That looks so weird. So I figured I would finally try it out. So I took it out of the box. This is what it looks like, just a little handheld device, and then you also get an extra sponge. First thing I will say is this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the size of this metal cap even bigger, but it's actually a little bit smaller. So that's what it looks like right there. If you were to just take this and round it out, it's a little bit smaller than a quarter. It feels really soft. I like that it does come with a cap for sanitary purposes. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hop into this video. I'm ready to apply foundation. I did go ahead and put on moisturizer. I used this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, which I'm not a big fan of this. It smells really strong and it smells like the Varsity like the orange drink at the Varsity. I forget what they call it, but at the Varsity here in Atlanta, they have this orange drink, and I used to love it as a kid, but if I had it now, I would probably throw up everywhere because I'm not used to having such sweet things. But yeah, I don't really like this, but it really did moisturize my skin, so my skin feels good. I just wouldn't say I would use it again. It says, pull the white battery tab, which is this right here. We're gonna do this together, because if you have this, we can just do it together and figure it out. And then it says, lift cap to reveal. Oops, already did that. The Pro Edition Universal Sponge for powder or liquid. Oh, for powder or liquid. It says, apply foundation directly to sponge. With, with liquid foundation, be sure to season the fresh sponge, i.e. cover it with full coat of foundation and apply, oh, and add another pump. With powder foundation, you could pat the sponge directly onto your compact or lid of your jar, then shake off excess. I brought over my Maybelline Better Skin foundation, and you guys know I love this. It's a great foundation. So I'm going to get my towel since I have to saturate the sponge. Also, if you're wondering what's on my eyes right now, it's the Too Faced The Power of Makeup. I just use the matte shadows in here. They blend it so well. And this is one of my favorite looks to rock. Just a really smoky outer corner and a light inner corner. I don't know. Just my favorite. A matte eyeshadow look. I just love it. And I got this choker from Forever 21. So I'm going to pump one pump of foundation. Put this all over the sponge. Just saturate it. I guess that's just so your first layer of foundation doesn't like seep into the sponge completely. I'm gonna get around the edges as well. So that's that. And then ensure skin is moisturized. Push button to activate device's sonic tapping action. Start at cheek. Move device in gentle sweeping motions. It's not necessary to rub or press hard. Blend jawline upward to forehead and hairline. Use narrow tip for nose, build coverage. Okay, I'm going to try this how they say to try it, but I'm also going to try it how I want to try it. So, And if you guys have missed it, I did do a review on the Clinique Vibrating Foundation Sonics thing or whatever. They came out with an attachment for foundation. And a lot of people were mad at me in that video because they were like, it's a skincare product. That's just an attachment. That's why it was so expensive. But if you didn't have the skincare attachment, I mean, and you had to buy the whole thing thinking it would be great for foundation, it's kind of a bust. So push the button to activate device, which the button is right here. Ooh, can you hear it? Oh my gosh, foundation's dripping already. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on my face. And it says, start at cheek, move device in gentle sweeping motions. I'm not pressing hard at all. This is to blend upward, but I really need to blend it down, so. It sounds like I'm pressing so hard, but I'm not. What does this remind me of? Some massaging device. Don't get dirty, you guys. I feel like it's blending it very well. 
and it's getting like right here in the corner um, on the edge of my nose really well but the foundation's breaking up on my nose I know you guys can see that so one kind of foundation did do both sides but not my forehead so I'm gonna take like I'm gonna turn it off because it started getting on the side once I turned it on so I'm just gonna take like a half a pump and then put this on my forehead And then I'm going to try to go over my nose one more time with a little bit of foundation. Not even that much. Like I need a tiny bit. Just to see if it will cover it back up because it was separating. Which it normally doesn't do with this foundation. Maybe it's because it's super dry. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's peeling. But it's kind of separating on my nose. Okay, so that is the application with this product. I do kind of feel like I used quite a bit of product to start off, like just to get my whole face covered. And even though it is small, it did kind of blend everything out fairly quickly. I was actually really impressed by it. And I do like the vibrating sensation of it, I guess, which sounds kind of weird, but I really did like it because it felt like a little massage, and it was just kind of calming. I don't know. I didn't even really want to talk when I was putting on foundation. I just wanted to, like, sit there and do this with it. I think it did blend everything really nicely. I use this foundation with a beauty blender or a brush, and this is definitely the outcome I would get either way. Um, I can't say it applies it much more flawlessly. I think it applied it flawless anyways. I'm going to go ahead and put my concealer on and the rest of my face makeup and then I'll be back to do an update for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to do an hourly update because this isn't necessarily like an hourly product even though it says for eight hour superior coverage. I don't have a problem with this foundation wearing off so I can't decide if I want to do an hourly update or not. I might ask you guys really quick on Snapchat and see. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup and I will be right back to update you guys. Okay so I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted me to do updates throughout the day with this Color Me product and you guys said yes. One of you said that I should have used another tool on half of my face which I totally agree. I didn't even think about it. I guess because there was so much product on this side that I felt like I had to hurry up and get it over to this side. Um, so I will be doing updates. It's already a little bit late right now, but I will just go ahead and do the update throughout the night because I will probably be up a little bit late today. By the way, I am digging this look. I did try a different colored lip on my Snapchat and it was so cool. It's the Smashbox Chill Zone. I love these liquid lipsticks so much, but what I have on right now is True Grit, and True Grit is going to be my color for winter. I love it. It's just a really deep brown, but I did put this on first and then this on top, and it just gave it more of a cool toned brown, but I want to quickly do like a little recap on this. I do have to say my foundation looks pretty flawless like over my pores and everything it's not like sunken in or anything which I love this foundation anyways I think it's amazing but I think it looks extra amazing on my face today I'm not judging my forehead with this product because it is peeling and it's ugly and we're not going to talk about it okay it's just really bad I really like the way that it looks I think it was nice to apply it was easy if I'm in a rush this is probably not the product that I will go for because it does take a little bit of time but would I say to go purchase this $100 product or to buy a $20 beauty blender it's kind of like one of those things where I'm definitely going to keep using this, but I'm on the fence about it because I don't want to tell you to buy a $100 product when you could just go buy a beauty blender and blend out your foundation. I think this is definitely for people who just love to experiment with different things and love kind of like little cool gadgets like this. I definitely think it's something to try out. I think it's pretty awesome. I did purchase this with my own money, by the way. But yeah, so far, I really, really like it. I think my drugstore foundation looks pretty damn high-end. So, so far, I'm loving it, and I do recommend it and again I love the fact that they have a little cap for this this is completely different from the Clinique vibrating sponge applicator that I tried I will link that video down below this is completely different it's 10 times better and I would recommend this one over the Clinique attachment gadget any day loving this so far also love the fact that they included this little extra sponge anyways right now it is 617 and I'm gonna go throughout my night probably take this lip color off because I want it eat something very soon and yeah I will see you guys in just a couple hours 
Hey guys, so it is currently 11.43, not too far out, we're about like what, five or six hours, I can't remember what time I showed you guys earlier. I'm really tired, honestly, I'm like ready to wrap this up and go to bed. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do like a lot of updates throughout the video. It's a foundation applicator and it's kind of one of those first impression type of things just to see how it works and if it does blend really well. As you guys saw, it did. I really liked it. I think it's an awesome product. If you're someone who likes to apply it quick, get it over with, get it done, get out the door, this is not the product for you because it does take quite a bit longer to apply the foundation. So if you guys want to check this product out, I will leave a link for it down below with the price, where I got it, all that kind of stuff. I feel like with this foundation, it looks amazing as it is, like with a beauty blender and a brush, but this product made it glide over my pores even more and it just makes it look so flawless. If you guys have tried this product, let me know down below in the comments what you thought and I would love to hear any of your suggestions, anything like that. Um, I will update you guys with this. I'm going to try it out with a couple different things. So I will update you in my, what month are we in? August. I'll update you in my August hits and misses on how well it applied everything else. But for foundation, it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Test It Out Thursday and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!